morning. It's Wednesday. I'm on my way to my pulmonologist appointment. It's a follow-up for my CPAP. So I was running late this morning. I slept really late. I don't know what happened. I was having all kinds of crazy weird dreams and I don't know, just had a hard time falling asleep. So this morning I was really tired. I really am enjoying Daniel being able to go to school at 9.15 because it, it helps all of us. He sleeps later, you know, like he usually doesn't wake up until the nurse gets there and, you know, things start moving around. Sometimes he does, but pretty quiet in the mornings lately, knock on wood. He's been doing pretty well. No fevers, no problems, no issues. Anyway, we have a busy week. We have uh, two appointments tomorrow for him. He's got to have his uh, baclofen pump refilled and then he has to have his AFOs fitted. Today I had to do this appointment. They have to bring the little SD card that's in my CPAP machine because I guess they have to check uh, to see how it's going and how much you're using it. It's, it's like part of the insurance requirement is to make sure you're using it, I guess. And then, I don't know. But somehow, even though I thought I had met my deductible this still ended up costing me $174 out of my direct deposit and I was, or I pulled out of my bank account I was like what for my CPAP I don't know I have to call the insurance company everything is always 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 complex like <laughs> that's what's happening right now as I'm going to my doctor yesterday was our anniversary and I didn't really talk about things too much in terms of our anniversary and it was our 25th wedding anniversary and I'm very happy and John's very happy and things are okay but for some reason this year we just didn't have anything planned uh, I think it's just a complex issue of it's busy you know we're busy with the kids and we were busy with trying to find a car and getting Thomas's license and, which hopefully is going to happen by the end of October. He's finished his driver's ed courses that he had to take. So now all he needs to do, um, he's going to take one. We taught him how to drive. Like you can do it different ways. He got his license, his permit, and then you have six months of driving practice. So we did it that way. And then he has to take one class that's required by the state and then I can have him actually get license test at the driving school, which is what we did with Sarah. And it's a little bit easier and less stressful on the kids. The only, the only requirement with that is that they have to, ah, they have to take one driving lesson with an instructor. So I'd rather put him in a car with an instructor for two hours and make sure that the instructor evaluates him if he needs more time, then he'll have another lesson. You know, like, well, at this point, we'll pay for lessons if he has any serious flaws in his driving skills, which I don't think he will. He seems to be doing well. Whoa, sun is so bright. Thinking out loud. Of course, I'm late for my appointment by about five minutes. Hi, honey. It's a good day. I heard it was a good day. I went to guitar lessons. You gonna go to sleeps? Are we okay? Have we calmed down a little bit? Have you calmed down a little bit? Have you calmed down a little bit? Have you calmed down a little bit? This is not fun anymore. This is not nice. Get him. Get him. They've, they've been playing cat and mouse with this thing all day. She takes it, hides it, he gets it. She puts it in the crate. <laughs> I will not watch her try to jump up on the thing. Honey. Honey, give me your baby <laughs> Did 
you had chicken. You had chicken. Swim, puppy, swim. Go for a swim. He doesn't want to swim. No, it's because you got to do it like this. Swim. 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 Um, I'm not really in a swimming mood right now. I would much rather sunbathe. How was rehearsal? It was good. You getting better? That was rude. <laughs>